So hello, thank you, CC. Um, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm sorry I can't be here for longer today, but uh, it's been a while since I've joined you all and I uh, appreciate the opportunity. Uh, my name is Ken Field. Uh, I'm currently out in Truro on Cape Cod, which is where I'm spending most of my time these days. It's beautiful out here, even in the winter. In fact, it's more beautiful in the winter. Um, and uh, also spending time in Cambridge. And um, I've, uh, I'm have i going to talk about some of the nonprofits I'm involved with. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to um, be a tree. Uh, I don't know if that, that would be intriguing, but I think intriguing. Uh, I that was not on purpose, um, but uh, I'll talk about the nonprofits. So I, for a long time, I've been involved with an organization called Tutoring Plus of Cambridge, which provides free tutoring services to, uh, to Cambridge youth uh, who are underserved. And uh, I was a volunteer tutor for many years. Um, I was on the board as president and vice president of the board at various times. I've stepped back from that. Uh, my life was just getting too hectic. Uh, but it's a great organization. If anybody wants to look into them, uh, it's tutoringplus.org. Uh, they're currently doing a fundraising drive. Uh, I also have stepped back from the Honk Festival organizing committee. The Honk Festival is a festival of activist street bands uh, originated in the Boston area, Somerville, and uh, has spawned about 22 Honk Festivals all over the world including a couple, I think three in Brazil and just all over the West Coast, uh, Texas. Uh, it's become an incredible movement. Uh, I joined the organizing committee after the first year, which was 2006, I think. Um, and uh, again, I felt like I put in my time and my life has gotten more, uh, well, it hasn't gotten more crazy, but I've realized I need to devote more time to my music. Um, and some other projects. So I stepped back from the Honk Committee, but I still think they're amazing and uh, worthy of recognition. Uh, I'm now the president of an organization called Jazz Boston. It's a nonprofit in Boston that advocates for the jazz community of musicians, audiences, uh, venues, media. Uh, we're shining a spotlight on this, this music, which uh, originated in the African-American community, which focuses on spontaneous improvisation. Um, I think it's an important music in a lot of ways, a unique music and worthy of recognition. And so we have about 4,500 members uh, of our organization. Uh, it's free to join, so that has helped <laughs> get people to join. Um, but these are all people who are passionate about this, this art form, uh, as I am. and. Uh, we uh, we have been able to do a couple of, I think, important things. One is to get GBH, the, the media powerhouse in Boston, to uh, bring jazz back to their mix. Uh, about seven or eight years ago, they, they really significantly cut back on their jazz programming. And uh, through a, a combination of circumstances, I was able to connect with a person there uh, who runs GBH Music and encourage them to... Uh, um, to increase the jazz footprint on GBH significantly. So we're doing some collaborative concerts that are streamed. Uh, we're doing, uh, we're helping them to curate a weekly jazz series at the Boston Public Library, uh, which is where I played actually last Thursday with, with Blake Newman and Phil Neighbors. And um, uh, all of that stuff is available. If you want to know about it or go to it, you can go to jazzboston.org and there's links to the previous concerts and uh, that we've done with them for some very prominent people. Um, and then I'm also now, <laughs> I, I just have a problem saying no. So I'm now the chair of the Truro Concert Committee. We run a series of nine weekly summer concerts in Truro. And uh, it's pretty cool. It, Truro is an interesting community because while it's very, I don't know, uh, paradise-like. It's really beautiful. It's really amazing. Um, there is currently, as there is in a lot of places, a, a division in Truro, a couple of divisions. And, and the, one of the main divisions centers on affordable housing and the need in a community like ours uh, and in many communities around uh, the U.S. Uh, for more affordable housing. Uh, there's just no place for people who are doing normal work like they work in in the police department or the fire department or they work in shops or 
you know, people who don't have a ton of money, it's very challenging for them to find affordable housing in or around Truro and the Outer Cape. Um, so there's some initiatives to take some public land and build affordable housing. And then there's a whole group of people who are very scared about that. They don't want more people. They don't want more traffic. They don't want, they're worried about their taxes. They worry about, uh, I, you know, somebody put, put up a sign. They held up a sign saying that this project will lead to more crime, which is just horrible thing to say. Um, and uh, so there, there's some significant divisions. And the reason I mention that is we think that the concert committee music can be a unifying factor that all people can come to our concert series and sit next to their neighbors, even if they disagree violent and not violently, but um, loudly, <laughs> disagree loudly with them. They can come to our concert series, sit next to their neighbors, get to know them a little bit on a neutral platform, which is the music that we, we have uh, free, this free outdoor series that we have. So those are, those are some, I'm still doing my radio show every week on WMBR and now also on, it airs on WOMR in Provincetown, MBR in Cambridge. Um, and I'm trying to be a better musician. Uh, and I'm about to, uh, oh, I just finished um, uh, a commission for a dancer in Boston area, um, uh, Joni Block, who is, um, who lost her husband about two years ago and did a uh, long form, is putting together a long form dance um, evening, uh, recognizing loss, her loss and others, uh, similar kinds of loss, different kinds of loss. And she asked me to, to uh, compose and produce and perform music for that, uh, which is pre-recorded. but that's an exciting project. I hope to release it on, a, on an album soon. Um, and uh, and I'm going to Australia again uh, in a couple of weeks for the Honk Oz Festival, where I'll lead a large ensemble of uh, probably 50 to 75 people playing some of my music, some New Orleans music, some Australian music. So, so the, you know, I don't know. I didn't mean to go on so much about me, but that's me. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for the opportunity to, to chat.